Hey guys, what is going on? This is Eric from Reconvert and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add an order tracking widget to your thank you page. Now, I don't know if you know that, but customers tend to go back to your thank you page when they get transactional emails from Shopify like order confirmation email, shipping confirmation email, etc. It's very important to allow customers to track the order from the order confirmation page, otherwise they're gonna reach out to your support and cause you some troubles. Let's jump into the video and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, so we are in the reconvert dashboard. Let's head over to the page builder and I'll show you how to set up the order tracking widget from there. So I'm in the reconvert page builder. As you can see, it's empty, completely empty. There's just the default thank you page by Shopify. Uh, I'm gonna use the page builder in order to set it all up. By the way, if you don't know how to handle the page builder, there is a help video right here that's going to show you exactly how to use it with all its functionalities. So just check it out if you don't know what to do. And we have the live chat support right here waiting to answer your questions 24 seven. A few words about the order tracking widget. The order tracking widget is only going to show up on your thank you page if there is a tracking number to a specific order. If there is no tracking number yet, it's not going to show up because it's just going to uh, confuse your customers and we don't want that. So it's a smart widget. Now you're probably asking yourself, why is the tracking widget so important on the thank you page. Now, I don't know if you know that, but Shopify tends to send customer back to the order confirmation page through transactional emails like order confirmation, shipping confirmation, order out for delivery, order delivered, all of that by default send the customer back to the order confirmation page and there is actually no way for him to track the order from there. So the order tracking widget is a very smart idea and it's going to take a lot of headache out of your support team uh, and it's going to add a lot of automation to your business and just provide a better customer experience. In order to add the order tracking widget, all you have to do is head over to the general settings section and click the order tracking. All you have to do is just click one click, enable order tracking and you're good to go. We automatically withdraw the design from what you have in your store, in, in your active theme on your store, so you don't have to do much. And you can play with the text on the uh, button in case, I don't know, you have different language or you just wanna say something like track my order. And you can control obviously the design uh, of the button itself and you can choose the language in which the tracking information is going to be displayed. By default, it's in English. Now, one thing that you need to know about the order tracking widget is it might contain some ads below the order tracking because we're using an iframe from 17 track, which is a highly reputable uh, order tracking website. Perfect. So I'm going to hit save. And the next thing that I want to show you is how it actually looks like on a real thank you page. In order to check a live thank you page, all you have to do is go over to the order section on the Shopify admin and go inside any order. Just make sure that it's an order that went through the online checkout. I'm going to go to this order and in this order, as you can see, this is an order that have a tracking number already. If there is no tracking number, uh, then the tracking widget is not going to be displayed. In the order, just click more actions and then click view order status page. And as you can see, here is my uh, tracking widget. I'm going to hit track my order. Here is the tracking information and actually there is no ad. So as I said, uh, it's not always happening. This is it for the tracking widget. This is how it looks like in a real life. And this is going to make your customer's life so much easier. You're in your customer support reps uh, much, much, much easier. The last thing that I want to show you is some analytics we have related to the tracking widget. So if we head back to the reconvert dashboard, scroll down a little bit and in the element wise data, uh, you're going to be able to see in the order tracking how many customers saw the widget and how many clicked it and what's the click through rate for it. And as you can see, it's pretty high. This is a demo store. Your numbers might be even higher on a real store. Another thing you're going to be able to see is in the latest activity report, you're going to be able to see what customers from what ordered actually clicked the tracking widget and this is it for this video guys if you like the widget if you like the app so far please make sure to leave us a review on the app store it will make our day and i'll see you on the next video okay guys thank you so much for watching you now know how to add a tracking widget to your thank you page if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and click the notification button so you know whenever we go live or release new features and updates about the app i'll see you on the next video